Welcome to WebWiz. In the last tutorial, I showed you how to use bit.ly.com. Bit.ly allowed you to turn long URLs into bit links. For example, if you wanted to link to a YouTube video, instead of having the entire long URL, which is difficult for your readers to find and use, you could turn it into a bit link, namely bit.ly slash and a few letters or numbers, which would then relink to your redirect to your desired page, your YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Pretty Links. Pretty Links is similar to Bitly, but does the same thing a little bit differently, allowing you to choose the name of your Bitlink. Now, the problem with Bitly is that if, for example, you want to use this YouTube video and you want to turn it into a Bitlink, and use this bit link, it's still difficult for your readers to remember. While now it's easier to put it on your website, it's still difficult for your readers to remember. Nobody, unless they have an eidetic memory, is going to remember L3PJYP. It's just not going to go into their memory banks because they're not going to be thinking about that when they're reading your article. Pretty Links allows you to redirect with any URL you choose off of your domain name. So for example, if you have webwiz.inkoscholars.org, which is the domain name of my website, and I wanted to link to my Facebook page, I could turn I could redirect webwiz.inkoscholars.org slash Facebook to my Facebook page. Let me show you exactly what I mean. This is a test demo website that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. You've probably seen it before. Now you should remember from my two-part series how to download a plugin, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. Basically, you should just search for Pretty Link Lite. That's the name of the plugin. You can download that. Now, once you download that plugin, you are going to go to the plugin page for Pretty Link, and it's similar to the plugin page for uh, Shareaholic. Now, once you're here, you're probably going to see this message. If you don't, then you've already done this, but most people who are beginning starting their website is going to see this message. WordPress must be configured. Pretty Link won't work until you select a permalink structure other than default. What you have to do is go to the permalink settings. So you can just click right here, permalink settings. And you probably are using default right here, which is how your web site starts out with. Essentially, whenever you create a new post or page, the URL that is given to that page will look something like this, and it will be your domain name and then P equals and then a number for your page. You're going to have to change this in order to use Pretty Link. So you can just choose one of these, for example, day and name. You can choose your own custom structure or whatever. This is just going to change the way that your URL shows up when you create a new, paste, uh, new page or post. You can just click, click Save Changes and then go back to Pretty Link. And that message should have disappeared. Then you can go click Add a Pretty Link and choose a target URL. Now in this example, I'm going to be using my website, so you can just copy whatever URL you're trying to link to and paste it into target URL. And then here's where the big thing with Pretty Link comes in. You just go over to Pretty Link and delete the end of the URL and type whatever you want into there. So for example, I can make testwebsite.inkoscholars.org slash webwiz redirect to my webwiz page. You can see that this link will now redirect to webwiz. And then you can just click create. And it says your pretty link was successfully created. You can see information about the link here, so if you ever forget what you named it, you can go back and look. And it also gives you information about the link. For example, if somebody clicks on the link, you'll see how many people have clicked on that pretty link. Let's just make sure that this worked. You can just copy the pretty link and paste it. You can see it's testwebsite.inkoscholars.org slash webwiz. And it redirects right to webwiz.inkoscholars.org, redirects right to my website. Now, why is this so good? Well, you can have an infinite amount of links, and you can 
make it easier for your blog readers to remember these links. For example, I could have WebWiz link to my YouTube channel, and all you'd have to type in is webwiz.inkwellscholars.org slash YouTube, and it would go right to your YouTube channel. It makes it easier for your blog readers to remember, and it's also easier for you to remember. Now, whenever I want to go to WebWiz, I could use this link that I just created. Although I might not want to, I'll probably create my own link. But this is the magic of pretty links. So while BitLinks is good for just shortening it, shortening a URL if you want to use it in your blog post, if you want to have a permanent URL for your blog readers to remember, you should use pretty links. So that's the difference between BitLinks and pretty links. Thank you for watching this WebWiz tutorial on Pretty Links.